made it to the blind. I'm just across the hill from the house. Uh, it's a really good evening. I've got about an hour and 20 minutes till it gets dark, so we're just gonna try to give it a shot. And see what happens today. You, know, you never know. The bucks are starting to chase. It's November 1st in certain areas. So I might try to grunt a little bit and maybe even put out a little bit of dough in heat possibly. We'll see. But we'll see what happens. So y'all stick with us. evening here. Just saw that one doe so far. Got some squirrels back up on the hill behind me. But, uh, you can hear something down in that bottom over, over in there. But, um, just want to tell you what, what I got going on here. So, I've got a blink camera, okay? A, um, like a door, like a security camera. My house is over on that hill, okay, across the hollow. And I've got this buck at least three times on my blink camera the last couple weeks. And I've got a camera right down on, on the flat 
about 150 yards that way. I've got the buck on camera there. I've got a camera on this point up here behind me. And I've had the buck a few times there. So what I think he's doing, I'll try to put maybe an example map in without showing exactly where it's at, but he's making a huge circle. And I know there's a couple different doe groups back in this hollow here that live on the face of this hill. And um, I think what he does is he checks these doe groups, then circles over by my house and check the doe group that live on the back side behind my house. So, he's been tough to locate. Uh, he was a pretty nice 10 point, and he's uh, got a broken rack, but um, he's an interesting looking deer. But, uh, every it's like I get him at weird times too. So he, he makes like really weird timing routes. So I don't know how we're gonna catch up with him, but there's a super faint trail right here behind me and below me. Now down in this thicket here, I know the does travel back and forth. I've got a pond down here. They travel back and forth that pond through the that thicket and it is just tore all to pieces where they've been traveling it. So I think what he, he does is uh, he circles up here and uh, smells down in these little drains for these does. And then what he does is he'll cross the road, cross the, cross the, the field by the pond, go up by my house, then cross over the hill and check those does. I just don't know exactly what kind of routine he's doing it in. But it's still a rut, so we're hoping we can catch him coming through today, maybe. Maybe catch him in between routes. So, I know for a fact he spends a lot of time at the head of this, this hollow here. Because I've got him on camera a lot up here on the point. But he always comes from this thicket down here. So, I thought maybe trying some, some doe bleats or even some grunts later could possibly draw him out of that thicket if he's in there. That's, that's kind of the hope. So, got about 45 minutes or so of daylight left. It's got pretty chilly. I've heard, pretty sure I heard one back behind me. I don't know if it was getting out of the bed or what, but it was heading down, down to this hollow. I haven't heard it since, but <clears throat> I'm gonna grunt a little bit and we'll see what happens. So I just want to clarify what happened at the end there. Uh, had a pretty decent buck coming in right of dark, right of the last shooting light. And uh, another deer was coming off the hill behind me. He kind of spooked, then ended up chasing the, the, the other deer that come off the hill. So, I mean, they're, they're moving good right now. So, rifle opens up Monday and Maybe Tuesday we're going to get right back and get after him. So y'all stick with us and we'll see what happens in rifle.